Hello guys, and welcome back for another Smite gameplay. Um, today, we're going to be trying again to talk more about AEC builds. You know, what's effective, why they're effective. And, as you can see, the first thing I'm going to talk about is how crazy throwing dagger is now. Because it gives ADCs and other auto attackers so much potential. For, to clear, you know, like especially ones like Rom who didn't have it before. Wow, that's so fast. Nice there we go. go. <laughs> they got way too aggressive. But yeah, it, throwing dagger helping get the kill there too. But like, it's crazy with people like Rom who would normally be super pushed by a um. By a, like a Ymir um, on her lane. I can now we're out pushing them. Which is pretty crazy. And so it allows auto attack based hunters who don't have that good clear, like um, Rom, Artemis, Apollo, to be really, really effective. And I'll stay for a little while. Enemy has been destroyed. You and even out push like lower ones. And they can also like Artemis can use focus on using her abilities, her three on poking right instead of having to use it to clear, which is really good for keeping pressure. On. You can see I have a lot of poke. I have three clear. I don't even have to use mana. Nice job. An enemy was obliterated. <laughs> Bye. Enemy missing metal. Be careful left. Yeah, so after um throwing dagger, Save you can see I'm opting for Warrior Tabby. Now I still I still believe that Warrior Tabby is like a lot better than Ninja Tabby early game because of you know the power it gives you. You got a big power spike and that makes a huge difference oh, early game. You know, when you don't have that much power from other Enemy items. Missing. And also, like, you get a little bit from leveling it up. You know, the 2 and 5. Over level? Times level, I think. I hope, right? <laughs> Why would it decrease <laughs> once you level up? That doesn't make sense, does it? Oh, wait, no, yeah, that doesn't make sense at all. Yeah. Plus it would be like almost no difference, but um, yeah. So Warrior Tabby is super good early game, but um, Ninja Tabby happens to be like a lot better late game. And I've you can definitely see the difference Warrior Tabby has, but like it's um, late game. Um, Ninja Tabby's advantage is less apparent. You can't really see the DPS difference. But um, I use DPS calculators and stuff, and it's definitely, definitely better by a good amount. It's An enemy has been slain. They're all oh. fired up. Oh, that'd be so cool. <laughs> I hit at least one of them. Um, so yeah, buying Ninja Tabby late game is definitely the better option because of DPS and also because you get on hits, on hit effects on faster, such as like Itchavale, and then also um, you know less penalty for like missing an auto attack because you know you have more <laughs> and more also more kin size procs, so that adds even more to it. May, may only be more effective if you have concise, but I don't think that's true. An 
enemy has been destroyed. Because, you know, well, I'm going to attack speed. Uh, like, power is just a flat add, which is super good early, but doesn't do any more. Doesn't do anything extra late game. However, um, attack speed multiplies your current power damage, so that you can see as that. So um, it gets more effective later on as you have more power and everything. Retreat! Okay, I thought they were coming. Here. But yeah, so that's why you know Ninja Tabby's great late game, unless of course you know you're gonna overcap anyway. So with Rom. Uh, it's probably like if you have like 60 something in your attack speed. I'm not, I'm not sure if we're wrong, but if, if for Artemis you only need 55, I think 55 attack speed to to be like that's that's 50 or 55. I think is what you want. Yeah, I feel like I think 55 gets you right to like 2.49 or 2.5 exactly. So yeah. Um, it, comes. His steroid gives only 50%, while Artemis gives like 80, but maybe his base stats are a bit different, so Enemy. I'm still not sure. Enemy. We'll Enemy. probably have, okay. like, Ninja Choppy will probably just still be good in a realm. A late game, even after getting other items. Oh, I meant to get Ichiville, because <laughs> I was going to talk about how good Ichiville it is, too. Um, but yeah. The second, uh, after throwing dagger and boots and for Tabby, no I definitely build Ichiro. Um, because you know, like I said earlier, the power it gives it's one is super cheap, two it gives thirty percent attack speed, which is huge. Um, and then the pen is also huge, especially early. Ten pen Enemy does ton. When they don't have that much damage, because um, flat pen's a lot more effective uh, against targets with lower defense. Nice job. And the third thing is it also gives a big, um, like power difference. So you get 30 more power, which is also huge, and you take away 30 of their power, which so it's like. There's so much packed in this little one item. Um, however, it's you know it's not as good like game since all its stats fall off except attack speed. But it's still good like game. It's just that you don't need the one v one stat as much. You know, it's not that's not as important like game because if you're gonna be team fighting, you shouldn't be one v one at all really. And yeah, there's other items that will give more DPS than than it should be. Which is, so yeah, we'll get that instead. Thank you. Um yeah, so after a trail, you definitely want Aussie. And I was recently all up on Reddit. <laughs> um, first, I was discussing with this guy, and I was just like, I think Aussie's better. And then he said, no, actually, late game Tevo, it'll, it'll add more damage. So I was like, really? And I didn't know that, so I, or I didn't think that was true, actually. So I decided to um, test it out using, again, DPS calculators. And yeah, um, there's actually a pretty big difference. Aussie against all targets, but especially squishy targets because of flat pen. Um, gives higher DPS, even late game, so throughout the whole game. And it'll be even bigger difference early because of that flat pen. Um, so yeah, Aussie's really good for your DPS, and it's again, it's super cheap. It gives that attack speed, which scales well until late game too. Good game. Fantastic. Easy to try to do it. Um, so yeah, that's really good. After that, I've you, I built Titan's Bane. It's just so many, so much better in so many ways. You know, um, you get all your stuff instantly while all your penetration instantly while executioner would need. It um, would only be fully effective on the fifth basic attack. So you have to hit five basic attacks on the one target in a row to get the full effect of executioner. 
And then also, it does uh, execution doesn't work against objectives, or because you can't reduce um, towers or like fire giants defense. So you have a lot more damage against towers and other objectives with t Titan's Bane. And then also, I, I don't know, well yeah, it's also a little bit cheaper. <laughs> um, after that, I'll usually build kin size, or I actually might build kin size before it, depending on how the game's going and how much defense the other team has. You know, like if I'm ahead, it makes it more sense to get kin size. But yeah, kin size is really good, it just, you know, it's a ton of damage, especially against tankier targets. So you have tons of damage against squishy targets, and against tons of damage against tankier targets. You know, you have high attack speed, you have enough power from all the items you're building. And it turns out really well. It's also, yeah, it's really cost effective too. So it's a good item to build there. And after that, um, you build your two crit items. Again, um, the first one you'll build is Malice because it's just so much better. And I, I hope I explained that well before, but like, if you, it's just mathematically a lot better as a single item and as your first item. And then you build Deathbring after because that's the second. Um, if you're gonna get two item, two crit items, those are the best two you can get. And you know, I also tested that out to, and made sure that was better. So yeah, uh, I hope this helped you. <laughs> um, and hope you come back later. All right, VVGL.